right, welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. Let's get back into it, shall we? Now, we have to go meet Steph. Uh, she should be back at the rooftop, which means we have to go back to our home of the boat and re go straight to the roof. So. All right, let's go. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> so happy. Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Seriously. Good lord. Where is she trying to hang Pick out? one. Mud. Celine, Berlin, or Ocean? She's trying to head back, head to Massachusetts. Uh, she just said she wanted to head to Berlin. Uh, does she really want to go back to Berlin? In the middle of the ocean. <laughs> That's funny. Celine, Massachusetts. Yeah, Berlin would be. Berlin, fuck yeah. Bowie recorded Heroes in Berlin, and that record slaps. Where am I gonna live there? A big loft, I'll tell you that. Some big loft with concrete floors and exposed brick walls. I'll brood on the fire escape, writing lyrics in my leather-bound journal, and drinking absinthe straight from the bottle. Ugh. Someday? They turn the place into a museum. Steph Gingrich recorded blah, blah, blah here. And it slaps. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To Berlin? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Oh, I want, I want to do it so bad. Fuck it. I'm gonna go for it! If I don't, I'm gonna lose my shit! Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Of course! It's adorable. That's adorable, man. That's so awesome. You 
don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later? Yeah. <laughs> this has been a good day. <laughs> oh my god. That's super, super crazy. Oh shit. Butterflies in my stomach. Yeah, damn. Butterflies, butterflies. Oh shit. Still need to go see Pike, so. Let's go see Pike. Hey. Gabe, can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. Let's go and find Pike. <sighs> Pike. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call. Their secret plan, the cover up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex? Don't make this hard. What? What is this about, Pike? Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Not exactly. What's this about? Coffee? Eh, no thanks. I'm all right. Thanks, so. though. Good. Because we're, uh, actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. She knew I stole the USB drive. <laughs> Fuck. What the hell are you talking about? Steal this USB drive or not? <sighs> at least tell me you looked at it. I can't. I'm sorry. I need to, man. I'm You're sorry. conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came serious? down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. I'm sorry, Alex.
come on, Pike. You knew I have evidence. Don't do that. I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Look. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. <sighs> I get the point. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. Oh, fuck. Come on, man. Damn. No way. You're telling me I might go to prison for this? For five to ten years? It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. Doesn't this mean she's guilty? She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. There's nothing I could do, Pike. You know that. I'm giving all the evidence I could do, but you gotta give me something here, bro. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Stop in mind security threat. Chen, Alexandra, brother, give. This is high. Actions. Initial shows determination and efficiency. Negative affection has a persistent beyond predicted rate of period. Suspect, suspect also appears to have possession of a confidential data and information. Assessment, course 2019. Uh, begin to follow subject after meeting with Mac Loughton subject met with the man identified as Ryan Lucan little else of note suspect spent three hours in the apartment Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealing secrets into Typhon history in legal litigation records suspect met and spoke with the client in the lantern it appears subject has stolen an 
object from client. Lucan, wait a minute. She figured out that the fucking Ryan and Steph were on this? You're joking! There's no way she figured this out. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Shit. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Sign it. All I have to do is sign? Yeah. <clears throat> Next marks the spot. Can't turn back now. Time to sign my soul away. Let me read it first. Fuck me. S bullshit. Damn it. Thank you, Alex. You did the right thing. Motherfuckers knew. Those motherfuckers knew. Believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. <sighs> so what else should we got right now? First, I need to get out of this dress. Yeah, maybe best. Let's get out of this and just. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Fair enough.
Hey, Jeff. There she is. Have a seat. What's going on? Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. What did you say that? You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Uh, Typhon killed Gabe. It, it's just simple. Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Jen? What? Wait, hold on. You knew? Wait. You're telling me you knew that Typhon's crooked? This whole time? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. Jeez. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Christ. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. sad Jed don't do this I'm sorry kid put the gun down okay just put the gun down the gun down Jed I tried to talk you out of it scare you off I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick but you were relentless won't leave damn well enough alone you don't have to do this I do 12 years ago I made a mistake the kind of thing that you you can't undo but Typhon made me a deal a way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. 
go to hell. Jesus. I can't, I can't believe y'all telling me now that I should have just let him go. I should have just let go, go after he, Pike should have let Alex go after she removed, moved his, why didn't I just do the, oh, fuck this shit. Come on, man. Damn. You know what? Whatever you, f oh, you are such a fucking idiot. Of course I didn't sit on the couch, you dick. Of course, seventy-one percent didn't go for Ryan. It, it would have been a fifty-fifty option. Of course, it wouldn't. Oh, was Ducky there? Oh, I didn't even know Ducky was there. Then talk to the diner buyer. The feelings. Ugh. Fair enough. Jed betrayed us. We stuff like this month though. Oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? Meaning of home. I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Wait a minute. Kiss a pretty girl. Wait. How do you know that? But Alex, you're right back where you started. Something doesn't seem right. Wait a minute. I know. I know. Oh, you don't know anything, Alex. You don't even know you're not really here. I was about to say, did anyone catch the fact that she's not even, like, why would she get shot and then come back? Is that weird? I was about to say, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? That's what I'm saying! Chen, case number. I guess that's me. Case number 53322. Okay, that's my case number. Wait, open. Wait, tape recorder. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. Family photos. These don't belong to Dr. Lin.
a tuning peg. Uh, guess take the photos. Take one of the photos at least. Oh my god. That is brilliant. Wait a minute. Notice how the signs look exactly like her. Look at that. Does anyone not notice how weird that is? Is that what I look like? Really? <sighs> Yikes. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Give it a knock real quick. Something doesn't see. Who's there? Um, Alex Chen. My the... guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Case file five three three two two. I remember. I remember exactly what it is. I'm not gonna play just yet. First of all, I need to open this file. It's 21, okay. Diagnosis, no clue. Thrown down a, what? Alex experiences a detailed and robust delusion that she is able to read other people's emotions and states and believes that because of this ability, she is unique equipped to help others overcome their own emotion trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony. Someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adopting the role of emotional caretaker. Has she not been returning my care? I do not think this is symbolic, hyperbolic, Scott, to speculate that her reckless attempts to at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It is believed that Alex Solutions constitutes a threat to her continued well-being well uh, well as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit. Her body shatters against each juggling board and every brick until she has forgotten the darkness beneath the world. That is my professional opinion the most humane thing we can do for her. What? Oh, hell no. Now I know I'm tripping. Something doesn't seem right. What the hell? What? Of the doors. Ah, oh, shit. I'm stuck in a room. Not getting out that way. Maybe, maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe I'm. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Let's go, Tara, real quick. What the 
hell? Huh? Jesus. It barely scarred her fucking head. <laughs> Jesus. Ladder. She needs to get out of this situation now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Mother of God! You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. <sighs> Jesus. Look at the magazines. We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Fair enough. Fan. Open the curtain. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom.
Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Am I repeating? Oh, boy. Alex. Go check on your mother. Okay. So pretty much we... Wait. Did I miss something? Our keys. I didn't even notice. But before we move on, I'm gonna end it here. This has just been a wild ride. I'm just gonna get these recordings through and then this is my last one. After this one, this is gonna be my last one. Mad. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, all link in the description. Make sure to also go check out my Discord server and check out Creators Hub also down in the link in the description below as well. It's been Zed, guys. Later.